Hello, I'm Mr. Whalen. I'm here to tell you how a bill becomes a law. There's three branches of government, legislative, executive, and judicial. The legislative branch, sometimes we call Congress. Congress is made up of the Senate and the House of Representatives. In the Senate and the House of Representatives, they create laws that govern our nation. Once both the House and the Senate have agreed on a law, that bill is sent on to the next branch of government, the executive branch. Right now, our President Obama runs the executive branch of government, President of the United States. He has the option either to approve the law by signing it or to reject the law by vetoing it. Should the President veto this law, it goes back to Congress, the legislative branch. If two-thirds vote yes in Congress, then that bill will become a law anyways. The President of the United States has the option to sign the law in which it takes legal effect. And once it takes legal effect, the executive branch enforces the law and it becomes subject to judicial review. There are many federal courts, but the one we're concerned with today is the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the land and it has the ability to decide whether a law is constitutional or not. If a law is unconstitutional, it is because the government has created something that is beyond their powers to either enforce or to create as governed by our Constitution. And so, the Supreme Court decides whether it is constitutional or unconstitutional. There are many ways in which a bill can become a law, but not all bills which become laws stay law forever. It depends on these various checks and balances whether the law will be recognized, enforced, and considered legitimate in our society.